Hi guys, in this video we will cover how to extract a single PQRST curve from a given ECG signal. Um, so this video is mostly based on extracting a signal's major feature points instead of the exact signal points. So we will be interpolating the points once we have decided which P, Q, R, S and T points are most crucial to us. So let's begin this video by focusing on this curve over here. So as you can see, the P curve and the T curve look very similar. So in MATLAB, we can interpolate these points using something called spline function. Uh, once we code it, it will become more clear how we will use spline. QRS are very sharp features which are best represented in the interp function using P chip. So once we uh, get to the interpolating of these points, we will be using the particular functions for them. And um, there is something to be seen over here that there are some points before P and some points between P and Q and also some points between S and T. So we can see that it's a generally straight line. So we will also be plotting these lines on our own. Now let's begin the tutorial by first normalizing the ECG data that we have and then proceeding to the extraction of the PQRST curve. Over here, I have already made a basic function to load a given ECG data which is stored in my file called data x2 underscore one dot mat file and the exact values of my ecg plot are stored in the variable ecg so this is basically extracting the ecg signal now i am going to normalize this signal with a simple function called zscore you can look into what zscore actually does by simply typing help zscore so it's equivalent to normalizing the data by subtracting the mean from it and then dividing by the standard deviation of the data so you can read much more about it using the simple help command we also know that the frequency of the sample is 250 hertz and we are going to define our uh, time scale through this simple code uh, there is one more thing that i have mentioned over here which is fig handle so we will see the use of this line in the future code segment and the rest of it is pretty straightforward. We are plotting the signal that we have normalized across the time scale and then putting the label for the X and Y and the title of the signal. So we can simply run this particular command. And we see that our ECG signal looks like this. So we can zoom into one particular segment and see what kind of data we are working with so over here there is a simple um, comparison that you can make with the few previous uh, diagram that i had showed you this looks like a p curve this is a q r s and then a t curve so this looks a little jagged because these points are not uh, synchronized averaged with multiple samples these are just one reading we usually get much smoother curves once we have taken multiple samples and then averaged the value of those samples. However, uh, for the current uh, purpose, we can still work with this data. Uh, you might have a much cleaner signal which will work in your favor. So anyway, we can move on to the next few lines of code, which are pretty important. First, we will call the figure fig handle and we will write this particular function called keyboard. Now this will pause your code until you give a command to MATLAB to continue. We are going to use this just so that we can maximize the ECG signal to the point where we can extract the uh, ECG PQRST curve. 
Next, we will select the anchor points of the ECG curve that we need using the mouse left click. Now these points can be gathered using a function called G input. We do not set the number of points that we want. We will just keep on choosing infinite number of points. Um, of course, we will not actually do that, but this particular line indicates that you can choose infinite number of points. And this um, rounding off function is just so that we can get an um, integer number of uh, samples. Um, so the rest of the function is pretty straightforward. I will just explain what I have written over here. With this particular statement, I indicate that I need 50 points between the XD first uh, value and the XD second value. Of course, XD and YD represent the data that we had uh, input through the mouse clicks, which we will see uh, in the next few minutes how we can take those data points. And the interp function is going to uh, calculate a linear data scale between XD1 um, and XD2. You see how XD varies with YD over this uh, scale between 1 to 2. So for the P curve, we are doing a similar fashion, but we are also adding a function called spline. And spline represents that round curve that we had indicated earlier. For PQ, it's a linear, so we do not need to mention any for sort of function. QRS are represented using the P chip function. And this represents a cubic curve. Of course, you can uh, look into the help command of what exactly P chip means. Uh, for the distance between ST, we, it's again linear, so we do not need to worry about that. And the T curve is plain. Finally, I will go on to concatenate all the points that I have um, determined in the previous few steps uh, using this simple cat function, which is used to concatenate data. And I will save my uh, heartbeat uh, basically this ECG curve of PQRST points in my heartbeat.mat file. So it will store the data points XD, YD and concatted. We do not need XD and YD as such, but uh, only concatted is of interest to us, but it's all right if you can add it. And in order to see this plot, we can just write plot concatted. Of course, we can add the X label and Y label. So I can just copy it from here. And this is just so that I create a new figure and I will write my heart beat in this ECG. Now let's see this code in function so that we are clear as to how this should work. So first of all, we encounter the keyboard signal and we have to select the ECG point for at which we will be extracting the PQRST points. So this is the ECG you can maximize and select the exact place but that is of our interest okay so this seems like a good ecg curve to work with so i will now press continue in the matlab function now i am supposed to choose infinite number of points but if you had paid attention I have discreetly mentioned the number of uh, points that I will be using per curve. For the before P segment, we have just one point that I will be indicating using the one, the first position to the second position of our selected points. Then for the P segment, I am selecting two to five which counts for an entirety of three points. For PQ, again, just a single point. 
So for example, I have to begin with P. So I will just make two points P uh, one, two, then I will see that for P itself, I need to make three points. So I will do one, two, three. Then from P to Q, I have another point to be marked. So I mark another point in between. Similarly, I'll mark for Q. R S and T so just to be careful you can add multiple number of points afterwards so that once you press enter your actual model has been completed so once you are satisfied with the 20 points that you have marked just come back and press enter okay so we did get a PQRST curve, but <laughs> evidently it's not the best that I could have gotten. But this happened, but this happened because of improper marking on my PQRST points because I probably did not select the proper places. You just need to be careful that you're taking the good feature points in order to extrapolate, uh, I'm sorry, to interpolate the data points. So this was how to extract the heartbeat that you'd like. Hope you liked it. Thanks for watching.